The following is an initiation lecture given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 30th of June, 1972, in San Diego, California. All glories to the Asma. All glories to the Asma. All glories to the Asma. Thank you very much. Translation. Now hear, O son of Prita, Arjuna, how by practicing yoga in full consciousness of me, with mind attached to me, you can know me in full, free from doubt. So, this yoga system is very simple and the sublime. You have to simply engage your mind only on Krishna, on the form of Krishna, meditation. Simply to think of Krishna and how asakti, with attachment. Just like if you love somebody, you want to see him. Attachment is so strong that without seeing him, you become restless. That is called asakti. We have got asakti attachment for so many material things. So we need not explain what is meant by asakti or attachment. So different people have different attachments, but attachment is there. Somebody may be attached to a dog and somebody may be attached to God, but the attachment is there. Rupa Goswami 
has explained this attachment very simple. He says, My dear Lord, as a young man awakens his attachment immediately by seeing young girl, or a young girl increases her attachment immediately seeing a young boy. This is natural. Nobody wants to learn in the university how to love a young man or young girl. That is natural. So Rupa Goswami says, so when my attachment comes to you, will become such naturally and simultaneous. This is very nice explanation. Simply by saying, ah, oh, here is a nice, beautiful girl. Ah, oh, here is a nice, beautiful boy. Similarly, ah, oh, here is Krishna. Here is Krishna's katha. Here is Krishna's topics. Oh, here is Krishna's temple. Just like another example is given, just like the waves of the river, it goes down. We have seen that little river, what is there, Bharta, they all is going down. In Japan also we have seen that little river, huh? with sound going down, going down. But similarly, as the river is going after the sea spontaneously, without any artificial attempt, so such spontaneous love for Krishna or God, that is the perfection of yoga. This is yoga. Yoga means connection. In the beginning we may revive that connection artificially, but when the connection will be spontaneous, without any check, just like the river water is going down incessantly, what you can check? Ahuituki aprutihata. And why the river is going there? There is no cause, it is going there. Similarly, when our love for Krishna will be gliding down like that, without any cause, without any cause, generally, the same example again, that spontaneous love does not depend on any cause without. Cause is there, cause is there, love. There is no other cause. So it is called ahituki apritihata. Ahituki means without any cause. Just like we generally go to the temple, to the chart, with a cause. Just like in Christian church they go, there is cause. God give us our daily bread. The cause is bread. Therefore I have come to church. But when you go to church without any cause, that is real love. God will give me bread, therefore let me go to church. This is also nice, but this motivated faith may be lost. If we approach God for some material benefit, for personal and sense gratification, that may break at any time. So that is not real love. Real love is without cause. And apratihata, apratihata means which cannot be checked. My love for God cannot be checked by any material condition. Nobody can say that because I am poor man, I have to work so hard, I cannot love God now. People say like that. Uh, we shall wait. When I get millions of dollars and my bank balance, then I shall take to Krishna cause. Now let me earn money. You see? This is not bhakti or attachment. Mayasa. Mayasa to mana pratha yoga me junyana madasraya. Madasraya means 
under my protection, Krishna says. So taking shelter of Krishna, all is represented. Mark means my man also. But Asraya takes shelter of Krishna, all he is represented. And try to practice the yoga by which you will have spontaneous love for Krishna. So this practice, according to Vedic instruction, because we have no attachment, so for making attachment there are some regulated principles by which you can increase your attachment. Just like we say, no illicit sex. Illicit sex means those who are too much attached to sex. Otherwise, there is no question of illicit sex. According to Vedic system, one is married, and one married means the girl has got a husband and a boy has got a wife. So living on religious principles, they can satisfy their sex life for begetting nice children. So there is no prohibition. That is allowed. But illicit sex means your attachment for sex is increased, not for Krishna. Therefore it is forbidden. No meat-eating. Uh, meat-eating or fish-eating or egg-eating, non-vegetarian diet, it is simply attachment of the tongue. Nobody dies without meeting. That's not a fact. Uh, when we are children, we are babies, we are depending on milk, either mother's breast milk or cow's milk. Therefore cow is also our mother. Just like we drink breast milk from my mother, Similarly, we drink milk from mother cow. Therefore, meat eating is prohibited. You cannot kill your mother. That is a great sin. You cannot. But people have become so sinful that they have no consideration that I am going to kill my mother. I am so ungrateful that the mother who supplied her blood to feed me, to keep me living, now I am grown up, I am going to kill my mother. This is my advancement of education, that I have learned how to kill my mother. Therefore, in every religion the killing is prohibited or very much restricted. So in your Christian religion, the first item is, thou shalt not kill. But everyone is violating this first commandment. Then where is your claim to become a Christian? If you violate the injunction given by Lord Jesus Christ, then how you become a Christian? That is our question. Either Christian or this or that. Killing is most sinful this should be avoided. Therefore, in the beginning, to increase attachment for Krishna, because my business is to increase my spontaneous attachment for God. That is the business of human life. This is a chance, because in the human form of life you can do that. And as soon as you increase your attachment for Krishna, then your life is successful, Successful means that you haven't got to accept any more this material body. Uh, you will get a spiritual body and go to Krishna or go to home, go to Bhagavad If you increase your attachment for Krishna, the benefit is that you make a solution for all the problems of life. It is scientific. Maya Sakta Manapratha. So, in the beginning, 
In order to increase your attachment for Krishna, you have to follow the regulatory principle. Don't do this. It's like a doctor gives you prescription. Don't eat this. Don't do this. Similarly, there are so many don'ts and so many do's. So we have to accept the do's, not the don'ts. Anukulena Krishna Anusilanam. This is called favorably cultivating Krishna consciousness. We have to accept the do's, not the don'ts. Anukullasa Sankalpa. Anukulena Krishna Anusilanam. We have to accept the favorable things. So, if illicit sex life is unfavorable for my advancement in Krishna consciousness, I must accept it. You cannot argue. That will not help you. Similarly, intoxication. Similarly, meat eating. Similarly, gambling. Because these are the four pillars of sinful life. Illicit sex, meat eating, intoxication and gain. The roof of sinful life is held by these four pillars. So these four pillars in the beginning of Krishna consciousness, when when you are actually going to take Krishna consciousness seriously, just like some souls will be initiated today. This means that he is going to take Krishna consciousness very serious. So one who is serious to take Krishna consciousness, his first business is to break these four pillars of sinful life. So there will be no chance of sin. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Jesam antagatam tapam one who is freed from all sinful reaction of life, jīśāvanta gataṁ pāpaṁ janānāṁ punna karmānāṁ punna karma, pious activities. Those who are acting in pious life, simply executing pious activities. Pious activities means jaggaddhāna tapakriyā. Pāyasakti means jaggo, performing jaggo, just like there will be fire, sacrifice. Dāna, charity, giving charity for Krishna's propaganda. The Krishna consciousness movement is making propaganda, so they require money. Money is Krishna's money. Everyone is holding Krishna's money. So the sooner they spare that money, because if I am holding your money, if I give it to you, then I become released from my criminal activities. Suppose I am stolen something from your pocket, and I have become conscious that the stealing is not good. Yes, so as soon as I return unto you, please take this money, I have mistake. So thing is settled up. But if you hold it, then you are criminal. You will be punished. So everyone who is holding Krishna's money, not returning to Krishna, he is a criminal. He will be punished. How they are punished? And that we have seen. In India, everywhere the same thing is going on. There was war between Pakistan and India. So all the rich men had to contribute fifty lakhs, fifty hundred thousand, according to everyone's capacity. Many millions of rupees were collected, and it was put into the gunpowder. Saha. <laughs> so if you don't execute this saha, then you will have to execute that saha. <laughs> The Vietnam is going as Saha. So many young men, Saha. So much money, Swaha. You have to do that. Therefore, better learn how to make Saha for Krishna. 
Otherwise, you will have to make saha for māyā. That's all. This sūrār you give up, jaggo dāna. This is called jaggo and dāna. And tapas, tapasya. Tapasya means this, following, voluntarily accepting all restrictive principles. Because we are addicted to all this nonsense. So unless you stop all this nonsense activities, you cannot understand Krishna consciousness. If you want to be serious, that is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. So in this way we have to increase our attachment for Krishna. And if we increase our attachment for Krishna, Maya Saktamana Partha Jogang, this yoga system. This yoga system, Krishna consciousness is the topmost yoga system. Why it is topmost? Because it teaches how to increase your attachment for Krishna. That's what it is called. That is stated in the Bhagavad Gita. Yogi nama pi sarvi sam. There are different kinds of yogis. Of all the yogis, yogi nama pi sarvi sam. Sarvi sam means of all. Madhugata antaratmana, one who is always thinking of me. You can think of one. If you are attached to him, otherwise artificially you cannot do it. That's not possible. If you love somebody, then you'll always see his picture, his form, always. These are simple yoga. As it is said in the Vedic literature, Premanyana Charita Bhakti Bilochanena Shanta Sadaiva Rida Yesu Biloka and we have to create our eyes or purify our eyes to see God. And that purification is possible when you apply the ointment of love of God daily. How to love Krishna? Take it as ointment, as we apply some ointment to increase the sight of our eyes. Doctor gives some prescription, we use it also. So similarly, how to see God? You'll see God with these eyes when it is clarified, primanyanachurita, by the ointment of love of God. So these are the Function, how to love. One has to rise early in the morning. He doesn't like. But no, I have to satisfy Krishna. And this is the beginning. I have to chant sixteen downs. He's lazy. He doesn't want to do it. But if he loves Krishna, he must do it. He must do it. So in the beginning, we have to learn how to love. But when you come to the State, uh, there is no question of uh, you may follow the regulative principle or not, because love is that. But don't imitate. Just like in our ordinary love affairs, if I want to love some girl, I bring some flower, I bring some presentation, and this way she thinks, oh, that is very nice boy, he, she has brought me this time. In this way, there are six principles of love. Dadati pratikinati. You have to give and you have to take. I love somebody, I give him something. My dear, you take it. And when he offers also, if he also loves you, he also returns you. Not exactly for returning, it is love to give and take. Dadati pratikinati. Gujjam akhyati prichati cha. Opening mind. My dear lover, I, I like this. And the other party also opens his mind. Gujjam akhyati. Gujjam means very confidential things. Akhyati, disclose, exchange. Gujjam akhyati prichati cha. And bhunte bhojayati cha iva. And giving the lover to eat something and accept from him some item. These are the six ways of increasing love. If you act in that way with Krishna, you are taking so many things from Krishna. 
Krishna is giving you everything. Eka bahunam vidudha pi kama. Whatever our necessities of life that is being supplied by Krishna, we are taking these fruits, flowers, grains. It is not possible to manufacture this in your factory. It is Krishna sending, Krishna giving you. So we are living at the cost of Krishna, and after cooking, these fruits, flowers, or grains, if you do not offer to Krishna, is that very good gentlemanliness? I take so much from you, uh, and simply nicely and uh, very cleanly cooking the food stuff, if we offer to Krishna, then what is wrong there? The rascals, they said, uh, they are hiddens. They are worshipping some stone. They see. So these are all less intelligent persons. God eats. Krishna says, Tadahaṁ asnāmi, I eat patraṁ puṣpaṁ phalaṁ toyaṁ jomi bhaktyā prajacchati, tadahaṁ asnāmi bhaktā puritaṁ. Krishna says that my devotee, when he brings something within the categories of vegetables, grains and fruits, because he has brought with devotion and love, I eat them. So when the devotee offers with devotion and love, Krishna, you have given us so many nice things, so I have cooked it. Kindly you take first. Oh, how it is nice. Just like your father has given you so many things, and you are obliged so our father is maintaining us. And if you cook something and give it to the father first, my dear father, I have cooked this. It is very nice. Oh, it is very nice. All right, give me. The father will be so much pleased. Oh, here is my dear son. It is father's property. You cannot give anything to the father. So immediately you have nothing to offer to Krishna. Simply you have to become little intelligent. That's all. Not rascal. If you remain rascal, then your human life is spoiled. If you become little intelligent, then your human life is successful. And this is intelligence. God is giving us daily bread. Why not offer to God first? That is intelligence. And simply God is giving me bread, I shall eat. And that's all. I am, I am meant for eating only. And why not offer it? God will not eat. Simply you feel gratitude. Ah, oh, God has given me this bread. Let me offer it to God first of all. Then I take. What is the wrong there? What is lost there? By these uh, Naradhama, lowest of the mankind, they even do not recognize this. Lowest. They have been described in Bhagavad Gita. Naradhama, Namang Dushkituna Mura Prapadanti Naradhama, Maya Bhuritagyana. His intelligence, his knowledge has been taken away by Maya. He has not this knowledge even that God has given me to eat. Why not offer it? What's about to God? This intelligence has been taken away by Maya. Therefore, they are Naradhama. Namang Duskita Namuha Prabhupadanti Naradhama. So those who are Naradhama, lowest of the mankind, just like here, something being offered to Krishna, to God. He will eat it, but he will leave everything for you as prasad. How? Purna purnam ujatyate purna sapurna madaya purnam eva avasishyate. This is God's power. He will eat everything, but he will keep everything for you as prasad. Purna sapurna madaya. Taking everything, but still is there. So this is the process. How to increase your attachment for Krishna? We do not say that you Christian, you are good, I am Hindu, I am bad, or you are bad, I am good. We don't say that. We simply say that it is your right now, 
this human form of body, how to love God. That's all. You have loved God so long, now you try to love God. That is all. So we don't criticize anyone. Simply we want to see whether he or she has developed his love of God. That's all. So you can do it either as Christian, as Hindu, as Mohammedan. We don't care for that. But we want to see you that you are actually lover of God. If you are not, then we tell you, you try to love God in this way. What is that? Savanam kīrtanam Vishnu. Simply hear about Krishna. Simply chant about Krishna. Is that very difficult? If you have not yet learned how to love God, take this process and you will learn how to love God. This is our purpose. It is not difficult. Savanam kītanam Vishnu smaranam pāda-sevanam archanam mannanam dāsam satham mātmani vedanam. These are the nine different processes. So you can execute all the nine processes. Or eight, seven, six, five, four, but at least take to one. You will be perfect. If you simply come here in this temple without doing anything, simply hear about Krishna, your life will be perfect. Thank you very much. Yeah. 